Hi, my name is Helena Sheehan and I'm vodcasting for Biolog.ie and the vodcast that I'm going to do today is on meiosis. And meiosis is a form of cell division. The previous vodcast looked at mitosis. Now we're going to look at meiosis. So what is it? Again, it's a form of cell division. And this time, unlike mitosis, the cell divides into four. And the daughter cells, the new cells that are produced, they are not genetically identical to the original cell. They have half the number of chromosomes. So the daughter cells have half the number of chromosomes so meiosis if we take a human cell a diploid human cell so 2n equals 46 because there are 46 chromosomes in a diploid human cell when that cell divides by meiosis it divides into four And these daughter cells have half the number of chromosomes as the original cell. So there are 23 chromosomes in each of these cells. So why? Why would a cell divide like this? Why would it produce new cells which have half the number of chromosomes? Well, the role of mitosis is in sexual reproduction, gamete formation. So let's have a look at gamete formation over here. So if we have a human cell which has 46 chromosomes in it, so the diploid number is 46, 2n is 46, why would that cell divide to produce cells with only 23 chromosomes? And the answer is these cells are gametes, these are sex cells. And gametes have to have only 23 chromosomes in them for human reproduction because let's say this gamete is a sperm cell. When that cell combines with an egg cell which has also got 23 chromosomes then the zygote will have the correct number 46. The zygote is the new individual formed by the sperm and egg cells. This is the egg cell. So if the cell did not divide by meiosis then there would be too many chromosomes in the sperm and egg and when they combine there would be too many chromosomes in the zygote and then the zygote would grow into an individual with the wrong amount of chromosomes so meiosis occurs in order for gametes to be produced with half the number of chromosomes as the original cell there's another role of mitosis it increases variation in the population. So if you watch the vodcast on mitosis on biolog.ie, you would have heard me explain that mitosis produces cells that are identical and meiosis produces cells that have half the number of chromosomes. So mitosis, if a cell divides by mitosis, you get identical cells and that would be asexual reproduction in a unicellular organism. Whereas with meiosis, we get sperm and egg cells. Now if we have a look at this sperm cell, this sperm cell is genetically different to the cell from which it came. And this egg cell is genetically different. They have half the number of chromosomes. So when they combine, the new individual has half the number of chromosomes from the father and half their chromosomes from the mother. So the new individual is neither the same as the father nor the mother. This person is varied. It is different. So meiosis 
increases variation in a population. And that's meiosis in a nutshell. And the next vodcast that I will do will be on, we'll, we'll a, take a little look maybe at meiosis and mitosis together and just compare them so that we can get them straight. Thank you.